enter the riff, okay? The almighty guitar riff, okay? <laughs> You know, the key here is is to make something memorable that people will remember and they'll they'll catch on to it, right? So let me tune back up. Let's say I did this. Um, Love it or hate it, you know what it is, right? It's Enter Sandman. That's the trick to a riff, is writing something that is memorable that will catch people's ear, right? I always play this one. Right? Writing something that's memorable. And in two. All right, that's the trick, right? Coming up with something that's memorable. Think of a million songs. And what you'll start realizing, if the riff is good enough, it doesn't need 7,000 other things. The song is based off that riff. Look at a lot of, look at iconic metal songs, right? Now a riff um, can be a chordal riff too, right? If I go... It can be a choral riff. It doesn't have to be a single note riff. It can be all kinds of different things. I think, I think the riff is probably the most important thing that you could possibly come up with, depending on what kind of writer you are, right? Some songs are less about the riff, and they're more about, again, I think, in my head, I think of a riff as, again, that left and right idea. I'm creating a riff, and then I'm going to go into a chorus, and then I'm going to come back out to a riff, that sort of thing. That's kind of what most 80s music and black label society and all those kind of things are based off of, you know, you know, doom metal and that kind of stuff. Um, where when you turn it this way and you start building more this way, you get more of the prog metal things and stuff like that because there's a lot more stuff happening this way. Now, again, that's a big generalization, but I just want you to think about that a little bit. So, because if I've got something where I'm just, you know, like the, the song that I wrote for the guitar course has got both. There's a section in there where it's it's like layered three different guitar parts, and then it breaks down into another part that just goes right into the guitar riff. Um, so just be aware that depending on what kind of player you are, you might be a really great riff writer. And if riffs aren't your thing, then you might be looking more at chord constructions and how chords work together and things like that. Mm -hmm.